Hey, so I'm here again today to talk about another Star Wars The Black Series action figure. And this time, it's one of my favourites. It is... Mr. Qui-Gon Jinn. The Qui-Gon Jinn action figure. I've had this guy for like ages and it turns out that it's pretty hard to get nowadays. So, um, yeah, I'm glad I've got him. But anyway, let's just start off by looking at the packaging. By the way, I do want to say it's got like a dint here from when it got delivered by Amazon. I feel like they kicked it down the street or something. <sighs> but what can you do? Anyway, up front you've got the lovely linear artwork, this time of Qui-Gon Jinn, obviously. Flipping it onto its side, you've got the lovely red shiny side with the number 40, which denotes Qui-Gon Jinn's number in the Black Series line. And then on the back, you've got another lined picture of Qui-Gon Jinn, as well as all these descriptions in various different languages, of which I will read you the English version. Okay, here we go. Qui-Gon Jinn. A venerable and maverick Jedi Master, Qui-Gon Jinn was a student of the Living Force. Qui-Gon lived for the moment, espousing a philosophy of feel, don't think, use your instincts. Fun side note, Qui-Gon's one of my favourite Jedi characters of the entire Star Wars saga. In fact, no, he's my very favourite. I have spoken. Anyway, let's open him up. So here he is, the amazing Qui-Gon Jinn, as portrayed by Liam Neeson in The Phantom Menace. And I've got to say, straight out of the box, he's awesome. So first up, let's talk about the likeness and the sculpt of Qui-Gon Jinn. And he does actually look like a pretty awesome action figure, like everything looks really nice. That's a horrible word, nice. I feel like it doesn't describe anything. But he is nice. The face is pretty good, but here's where I've got my major issues with this action figure, in that, look at the eyes. Look at the eyes staring into your soul. He's not got the best eyes of any action figure. Like, his eyes look, look like sort of dead mackerel eyes. But that aside, the rest of the figure is like, it's great. I love how the robes are all textured like, I don't know if you can see on this video, I'll put a picture in. The robes are nice and textured. It's got a really nice paint job that sort of differentiates the different layers of the robes. Aside from the eye situation, the face is pretty good. Like, he's got a very good likeness to Liam Neeson, to Qui-Gon Jinn, so there's that. And there's plenty of detail, like, in the belt. There's plenty of detail around the belt bit, around the waist. There's plenty of detail in the hair. The hair looks really good, especially from the back. The hair looks really cool. The boots look awesome, they're nice and textured and they've got plenty of little details on, so that's that's awesome. So aside from the eyes, I've got no real issue with this action figure, which is why for a likeness and sculpt score, I'm going to give him um, an 8 out of 10. That's, that's pretty fair, I think. Okay, next up is the articulation. How well does Qui-Gon move? And I've got to say, he moves pretty well for the most part. His arms move at the shoulder, they move at the elbow, they move at the wrists, um, his waist turns, his knees bend, his feet move, like all these things move and he's poseable. But because of the robe it sort of gets in the way, not too much, but kind of gets in the way if you want to pose him in certain ways because it's made of the soft plastic, it just sort of pings back. And if you move the legs, it sometimes pulls them back. It's not even doing it now. It does sometimes though, trust me. And then uh, the other issue is the head moves forwards and backwards somewhat, but because of the long hair that comes over his shoulders and over the back, it sort of limits how far forwards and backwards it goes. And same again, side to side. You can't really move it side to side. I mean, you can, but you might damage it. And I'm not gonna do that. So for articulation, I'm going to give Qui-Gon Jinn a score of 8 out of 10 again. That, that seems like a fair score for how much articulation he has. Okay, next up we're going to talk about accessories, of which Qui-Gon Jinn has... 1? 2? 3? I don't know. I don't know how you class it. So first up you've got his lightsaber, you see. 
So that's one accessory. Although the hilt comes off at the bottom, you can remove the blade. So does that make those two separate accessories? Like accessories of their own? By the way, when you remove the lightsaber, it's got a little peg situation. It's not even showing up. It's got a peg, but the peg fits in a hole right there on Qui-Gon's belt. And then it looks like he's just sort of carrying it around, just doing Jedi stuff, Jedi business, with his lightsaber on his belt. Although personally, I feel like the, the lightsaber's a little bit too far forward to the front. I'd have moved it a little bit further to the side, like maybe there instead of there. It's not much of a difference, I know, but that's what I'd have done. Anyway, the third accessory, I think, I'm gonna count it as the third accessory, why not, is a hand. This other hand. So what you can do is you can pop off Qui-Gon's left hand like that, the hand that looks like it's just gonna hold a lightsaber or whatever, and you can just replace it with this hand that looks like he's doing some sort of force trick thing. You see? So you've got like, you got options, you got hand options, which I think is pretty awesome. So, I think, as far as accessories go, you get you get the lightsaber blade, the lightsaber hilt, you get the hand that actually comes on the action figure, the one that looks like it can hold a lightsaber, and also the hand that looks like it's doing the force business. So overall for accessories, I'm gonna give Qui-Gon Jinn a nine out of 10, because he's got plenty. The only other thing that he maybe could have come with is like a soft goods robe, like a fabric robe, or maybe a poncho, like he wears on Tatooine. I don't know, I'm not a massive fan of the fabric goods, so I don't really miss it. I'm not really bothered, but I can see why some people would want this guy to come with a cloak or a poncho or something like that. Just, just, just a bit of something, but I'm fine without, so whatever. Anyway, finally, we're gonna talk about how much I like this action figure. Do I think he's good? Do I think he's worthwhile picking up if you can get him? Hell yeah! Okay, I've got my issues with the eyes and, and, and a bit of the articulation thing, especially on the head. But aside from that, he's a pretty damn good figure. I know this sounds like a bad thing, but he does look good from far away. I mean, he looks good close up, but he looks good far away too. I actually got Qui-Gon for my birthday a couple of years ago. Um, Lauren got him for me from Amazon for £20. And it seems now that if you want to buy Qui-Gon Jinn, you're looking at like ridiculous prices. I don't understand why it's so rare. So really, am I glad that I've got him in my collection? Yes. And if you can get him for, for a decent price, don't go mad. Like, don't go mad for any Star Wars The Black Series action figure because at the end of the day, it's just a lump of plastic. But... If you can get him for a decent price, then definitely do, because it's Qui-Gon. Qui-Gon's awesome. And for that reason, I'm going to give Qui-Gon a how much I like him score of 9 out of 10. Because he's great. Enough said. Okie dokie, let's give this guy an overall score out of 10. So we're going to take into consideration all the previous scores. So I gave him a sculpt and likeness score of 8 out of 10. An articulation score of 8 out of 10. An accessory score of 9 out of 10. And a how much I like him score of 9 out of 10. And overall Qui-Gon Jinn gets an 8.5 out of 10. And I think that's... That's, that's a good score. That's up there with Count Dooku. You know what? I'm glad he's got such a good score. Like I said, if you can find him, definitely pick him up. Anyway, while we're here, I did ask some people on Facebook their views on the Qui-Gon Jinn action figure. What did they think of him? Anyone that's got him, what thoughts do they have? And I'm going to read out a few thoughts right now. So, first up, Stephen Cowood says, I really like him. It's a shame he was produced before the fancy new face tech stuff as that head sculpt and paint finish let him down a bit. Kinda, yeah, I mean, I can see where it's coming from. Ross Thomas says, The eyes are horrendous. He looks like Jason from Friday the 13th. Ah! Glyn Coleman keeps it simple and just says, Dead eyes. And finally, Paul Chadwick says, The eyes are bad and the hair and beard are very single coloured. Not really any definition. Better paint job, and he'd look so much better. I mean, I like the paint job. 
And I've got no issue with the hair and the beard, really. It's just the eyes. The eyes. The eyes! Anyway, yeah, there you go. The Qui-Gon Jinn Black Series action figure. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and a subscribe if you're not already. And with that being said, I'm going to get gone. So I'll see you guys next time.